Hello everyone, my name is Mohamed Siba, the leader of the National Democratic Alliance, the NDA party of Sierra Leone. Let me join His Excellency the President, the retired Brigadier Julius Madabio and other political leaders, as well as ordinary citizens at home and abroad to wish Sierra Leone a happy Democracy Day on this day of September 15, 2018. Today marks another unique milestone in our national history as we proudly commemorate Democracy Day. This is a day of celebration and reflection of the many gains we have achieved over the years and with the just concluded presidential and parliamentary and local council elections in on march 31st 2018 sierra leone again has demonstrated an enviable track record to be proud of as a nation we must therefore stay the democracy cause and build on our indisputable successes. Indeed, we have experienced another peaceful transfer of legitimate political power from the ruling APC government the Tolongo people, as we call them in our local politics, to the main SLPP opposition party, the One People, One Country Mavericks, who are now in governance. As a people, we still coexist in a peaceful and democratic society, despite our ethnic political and social differences and we today have a government that has the legitimate will of the people that is indeed a remarkable achievement as a nation these are the fine hallmarks of true democracy as a nation we must not relent or be complacent, but cherish and remain committed to our founding ideals. For democracy is an ongoing process that can be perfected. Democracy is not just simply a definition about elections and voting for candidates of your choice. It is not merely a conference magnified with long speeches and political rhetorics. Democracy is about renewing our common commitment and patriotic responsibilities to Sierra Leone, a country that we all love. The fundamental requisites of democracy are inclusion and good governance. These values and principles must not only be practiced, preserved and protected, they must be the benchmark of our governance system and structures at every level. Political inclusion must neutralize this old driven culture of tribalism that is not only denying us the opportunity to grow and prosper and advance, but creating a sad circumstances that inevitably build the repeated cycle of violence and the potential for a darker, and a dangerous future. No Sierra Leonean 
should feel that their last name or where they grew up should be an impediment to their individual success. Government should be for the people, by the people, and of the people. We should not squander the opportunity to develop our nation by thinking more about empowering one ethnic group over the majority of citizens in Sierra Leone. Nor must we believe that power means payback time or punishing those who don't speak like us and who don't believe in our political philosophy. That is not democracy. History has repeated time and again that political inclusion increases diversity and promotes peace and national cohesion while good governance adheres to the principles of the rule of law, transparency, and accountability, including the need to be responsive to the aspiration of our people. These are timeless democratic vision that will move our nation forward. All of us are bound by our common creed and faith in God to collectively care for one another, not to care for just our own kinsmen and women. So on this Democracy Day, let us challenge ourselves both at home and abroad and as political leaders and ordinary citizens that our capacity to love those who do not share our ethnicity, our region, and our gender must be collectively mutual, unconditional, and non-discriminatory. That our characters of tolerance and impartiality must define who we are and what kind of Sierra Leone we want to build together a country of peace and prosperity where its citizens live in dignity without fear of poverty and diseases. Thus, our national focus must be about how do we create job opportunities for all, educate our children and provide quality healthcare for women and children, while building strong democratic institutions that will serve everyone without regards to their ethnicity, region, and gender. We must import technology, digitalize government, and private institutions to make them efficient and deliverable to a new skilled workforce that can produce a rise in GDP and spur economic growth on a national level. We must celebrate Democracy Day with the common solidarity that many of our fellow citizens still lack access to justice and that our judiciary must be more independent and accountable to the people. We must invest in our hard-working lawyers and judges, including the entire judicial infrastructure, while at the same time calling on the men and women who interpret and defend our laws to honor their obligations to the Constitution. 
that was a sacred obligation they promised to uphold and they must keep their words. Furthermore, our citizens must have the right to petition their government, speak freely without intimidation. The press and civil society organizations must be guardians of our democracy by standing up for justice and fairness and not giving in to political influence, especially from those in power. Democracy thrives through collective participation and innovation of ideas and new thinking that shapes the common will of the people. For democracy to thrive, for democracy to be equitable, Sierra Leone must support a market-oriented economy with a strong private sector. This is where the spirit of entrepreneurship can be developed, where tax revenue can be generated, and where income for citizens can be realized. A good economy is without a doubt an engine of democracy. This idea of dependency on foreign aid and running to China for concessionary loans are all ideas that have outlived their usefulness. It is nothing but racking up the debt ceiling and leaving more debt for the next generation of Sierra Leoneans. So let us find new ways to look more at what makes us the same people rather than our ethnic and regional differences. What brings us together as Sierra Leoneans are far more greater than what separates us. We are Sierra Leonean first before anything else. For real democracy is about making a difference not only in the lives of those who have blood relationship with us or regional ties alone, but generally impacting the lives of every single Sierra Leonean. Long live Democracy Day. Long live the Republic of Sierra Leone. Thank you very much.